Have you ever felt like selling hair might conflict with your faith? As a Christian, I understand the struggle. But let me tell you why it is possible to honour God in this business. Before we go right into biblical verses and how I was able to ensure that my faith aligns with my business by prayers and Bible verses, let's talk about the reason why some people would not want to sell hair. Now, some people make this judgment like, oh, I don't want to sell raw hair because it is cut off somebody else's hair. But what they also forget to understand is there's also also virgin hair and virgin hair is actually also cut off from somebody else's head but the only difference is this is what is left from various heads rather than just one person and this various head added all together picked up from the floor and then tied it up to make that virgin hair that you see we also have like the premium virgin hair which is much much better this had the kind of hair that will live to 613 those ones are carefully selected and just carefully taken off and also processed but all of the above this means that any hair that you see apart from synthetic fiber are actually taking off somebody else's head. I understand the real concerns that surround me because I was actually concerned as soon as I started going to dive into my faith. And I also appreciate the fact that you want to ensure that your actions align with your faith. The way that you source your hair can actually cover all of these things that you worry about. The first is some people actually donate their hair voluntarily. They're not forced to. They're not pushed to donate their hair. This is because they want to make some money for their family. In these cases, the hair is actually given with good intentions because you're actually putting food on somebody else's plate. And you may say, okay, how do you know that they're actually paying them well? This is because you need to ensure that the vendor that you're buying hair from has been thoroughly researched. You don't want to buy hair from a vendor because it is too cheap or sometimes it is too good to be true and you're thinking you're trying to make money. You need to understand that as long as you want to put your faith and your belief around your business, you need to do everything ethically. As a business owner, I am intentionally sourcing hair ethically. I literally speak to all of my vendors to understand where their hair has been sourced from. So sourcing hair for me, it just takes all of these worries away because I know that the person I'm getting this hair from is happy and is actually putting food on their own table. This will make me happy because I am in turn doing good to this person and their family. So it's really important to source ethically because honestly, there are some hair that are not ethically sourced and that is not good for your business. And usually this kind of hair are very cheap, very, these vendors are widely used. This is because in order to be able to get demand, they source their hair through ways that should not even be done. As it says in Colossians 3, verse 23 to 24, and it says, Work willingly at whatever you do, as though you were working for the Lord rather than for the people. Remember that the Lord will give you an inheritance as your reward and the master you're serving is Christ. This is what I do when I'm trying to source a vendor. I work willingly and I just don't do it because I want to make money. I make sure that what I'm doing actually aligns with what God will find acceptable. I am not perfect nobody is but there are some things that you should do that even your common sense will tell you that what you're doing is wrong everything is not about oh i'm gonna grab my bible and see if it's there if you doing something that is wrong your conscience will tell you what you're doing is wrong. You're selling hair that is not ethically sourced. Your conscience will tell you that what you're doing is really bad. Now let's move on to the next one that literally keys my faith in when it comes to aligning my faith with my business and selling hair as a Christian. How do you feel about selling hair as a Christian? Please leave it in the comments. Let's have a discussion around this because I know this is probably not going to be a very, very popular topic, but I'm doing this because I know that there are a lot of people out there that want to start this business but they're really worried about just messing up their faith. Now let's move on to the next step that I do to ensure that when I'm selling hair as a Christian it's aligning with my faith and my belief. Now the next one is my prayer and dedication. Now this might seem odd for some people but when I actually sell my hair I pray on my hair. When I get my hair from my vendors I pray and I also cover my bundles with the blood of Jesus. But please cover this hair with the blood of Jesus. Anybody that wears this hair will wear it in confidence. The grace of the Lord would abide with them. Another one is integrity and transparency. As a Christian we are called to be honest in all of our dealings and I tell you this can be hard. So this is why whatever I sell I am transparent about it. I tell you as it is. I tell you what the quality would be. I share all of these details with my customer. Not just because we understand obviously as a Christian you have to do this but for your own mental health, for your own relaxation, for the fact that you don't have to worry if a customer comes to you knocking and they're upset. You shouldn't worry about that because you know for sure that you've shared everything that you know about this hair to that customer. Like I said initially 
this is hard and what helps me proverbs 16 verse 3 he also says commit your actions to the lord and your plans will succeed try to um understand that because my plans have been committed to the lord this will succeed regardless of the fact that i am telling the customer exactly as it is if you're feeling uncertainty about selling here i believe that god has given you this talent this talent that god has given you he wants you to use it he wants you to be able to make sisters feel good when they feel really down and trust me, hair does this to us. Regardless of the type of hair, it might be braids, it might be in-store, it might be wigs. As long as someone looks beautiful, the beauty from the inside also shines through. Your business can also be a platform where you share kindness, encouragement, you show love, you show people that it's not all about money, bring value, making sure that you're giving people from your heart, that alone you're doing what is right. I also want to make sure that I help other Christians navigate into this business world. So I have a vendor list, you can find that in the description. This gets sold out and the reason why I sell this out sometimes is because there's a quota that I need to sell in a month. If I'm exceeding that quota, I don't want to sell it because I feel and I fear my vendors are going to get overwhelmed and they're not going to provide the best service that I want them to for me and for you. So this is why this gets sold out. But if I still have it in stock whenever you're watching this video, I have provided a vendor list. These are the vendors that I trust, I understand. Also, their values and the standards aligns with mine. And I also believe that they provide the hair that I am happy and willing to sell to all of my customers. Also, in that vendor list, I have tried not to like just give you like a vendor list. I have shared quite a lot of stuff in there how to make payment different types of payment ideas how to price your week i even gave like a coloring guide i gave a packaging vendor on there so it's like a book that is filled with other gems rather than just having a vendor list i'm just gonna share a bible verse to just make sure that you understand that god is with you god has put this in your heart to start just make sure that what you're doing all through this process is right don't get greedy because I feel like that is the issue here when you start getting greedy, when you start idolizing your business. This is where the problem comes in. Like I get tempted, I still do sometimes and I pray over it to grab my phone in the morning and just check my Shopify and just see how many sales I've made or just see like my views and how many things like that. That is you idolizing your business. And it is not something that you should do if you're working and aligning your business with God. God has the plan for you. Let's go into Psalm 8 and I'm going to read verse 6, which is, You gave them charge over everything you've made, putting all things under your authority. This year just aligns that we have power over everything. I am not someone that can just say the word of the Lord out of their mouth, but I felt the need to be able to share this because it was one of my greatest worries. Like I used to worry about this a lot. I felt like the Holy Spirit spoke to me about this just yesterday when I was still worrying, like, am I doing the right thing? Does this align with God? And God told me that he has given me power over everything and as long as it aligns with the plans that i have that actually glorifies god then there should not be any worries around it i hope this helps somebody out there there's a playlist if you're thinking of starting a hair business you can click on this playlist here literally everything that you need to start is there and i'm also still adding more topics to this thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in the next one